Visit tapseal.com to start making your dream mobile game. Hey guys, how are you doing? Okay, so today I did not have the time to work that much. It's, it's becoming a habit at that point. Yeah, because my daughter was a bit sick, so we had to take it to the doctor. But anyway, thank God she's good. So the time I spent working was on the group snap feature. I told you about it in the previous videos and thankfully I managed to add it, but it was not as easy as I thought it would be. I did have some trouble implementing the feature, but as you can see, it's now working perfectly. So let me quickly explain how I did that. So I've got a big method right here. Sorry for that. I did not have the time to refactor, but I'm definitely going to do so. But yeah, here is the check for neighbors. So whenever you release your finger after dragging a piece, we check for some neighbor pieces that we did store before, of course. Whenever I create the piece, I reference the neighbors so that we can track them uh, later on. So yeah, we check the neighbors. And if we find a neighbor that is close, like uh, on the right or up or down or on the left, then we check its distance. If it's close enough, we check if it's inside of a group. So if the neighbor already belongs to the group, we don't need to do anything. But if that's not the case, if this piece that we just dragged does not belong to a group and the matching piece does not belong to any group either, then we create a new group right here and we drop the two pieces inside of that group. The second case is when this piece has a group but the neighbor doesn't have. So we simply grab the neighbor and add it to the group. If this piece does not have a group but the neighbor does have one, then we need to move this piece to the other group and yeah of course we need to snap it to its correct position and finally if both pieces belong to different groups then it's a little bit trickier we first grab the move vector to move all of the pieces of the first group because we don't have one piece now to move we have a whole group we snap all of the pieces of that group then we grab all of the pieces and drop them inside of the other group we destroy the current group because we don't need it anymore and we re-reference the group of each puzzle piece. So why did I do that here? Because um, the group is a transform and transform is a class. So if I don't destroy this before assigning, if I don't use destroy immediate actually, um, I, I would have some issues because the group here will be the other pieces parent and it will be and it will get destroyed. So yeah. I've also added the possibility to validate all of the pieces of a same group if one piece has been validated of that group, okay? So it, it is normal, actually. Um, I've also added the possibility to snap a piece to a group, so to its neighbor, even if the piece that you've initially moved is not the neighbor of that piece we just snapped. I know it's tricky, but, but let me show you how it works. So here is the first piece here. Um, this is the second piece. So now both of these belong to the same group, right? Um, now the matching pieces, the matching piece should be uh, this one. Okay, so this is the neighbor of this piece. But if you drag this one, it will also work um, due to the code that I've implemented. Thank God. So yeah, that's basically it. Uh, it was really cool. I really want to add the rotation now because as I told you in the previous one, um, I'd like to add rotation just for small puzzles um, because it can actually mimic the behavior of puzzles in real life. I hope you like it. So yeah, see you tomorrow.